Hey guys. Hi friends. So we're walking around World Showcase and I was walking by the Norway Pavilion and all of a sudden I seen Thor. He was very excited. So Yeah, I got super excited. We ran over here and actually in the little museum where they used to house the inspiration for Frozen, the movie, they decided to turn into a Gods of the Vikings museum, which if you're a Marvel buff, is Odin, Thor, Loki, some of your favorites. So this is kind of a way that Disney World has incorporated Marvel into Disney World, which I think is super awesome. He's very, very yes. excited. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of the exhibit because uh, my heart's racing. 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 So right here, Gods of the Vikings, and you can see a little bit of signage over here with Odin and Thor. That is pretty awesome. And we're just gonna go right on in here. <laughs> this is awesome in here. So not only is this, you know, a Marvel thing, but this is a real life thing. This is an actual religion. And it's very cool, very important, very educational, but very fun at the same time. And they have amazing exhibits. As soon as you walk in, you got this amazing wood carving statues of Thor himself with Mjolnir. <laughs> Look at that. It's awesome. And then on the other side, Odison, Odin, right here. Look at his eyes a little. <laughs> That's awesome. And then Veronica is super, super excited. Loki, the god of mischief. Phoebe and I are bestest friends. You guys would get along great. And they have this wonderful display over here. And sorry if it starts to get a little like craziness, but that's how it works with some of the glasses in here. Look at this. All along the inside, they have different displays for different gods like Loki. Don't know anything about that. The war. And of course, Odin. And this is pretty awesome. They have like a whole entire the world tree display here. Asgard, Midgard, Jolfenheim. Wow, this is super awesome. Loki, the, creation of the god of mischief. Huh. That is pretty amazing. And they have some artifacts. Some of these are replicas. And then, of course, Thor, the protector god. Look at this. Thor's hammer pendant. Mjolnir. <laughs> A carved bone tool. Wow, I'm so happy they did this. And then, of course, Odin, the ruler of the gods, the wise and mysterious Odin, ruler of Asgard. Look at the drinking horn. Little Odin figure. That is awesome. This is such a great display. I feel like you're not ag agreeing with me in my enthusiasm. Oh, you found a phone in that box. Oh, hello. I really am obsessed with this now. So overall, the exhibit is not that big. I mean, they have separate displays for each of the gods, a very awesome carving in this tree like here, and then a little bit back history on the gods of the Vikings. But I like it a lot. I really do appreciate it. Don't you or no? I just don't believe you. And as we exit through this side, you get the back side of it, and it says Loki. And there's that original Viking statue right outside the Norway Pavilion. 
And that's the line to get to Frozen, the ride. How cool. Wow. So it's official. Thor has landed in Epcot. <laughs> that's crazy. So regardless if it was meant for historical purposes, which it was, or if it kind of incorporates a little bit of Marvel into Disney World without breaking the universal contract, that is still actually amazing. Just so that you can see an actual like Thor exhibit, Loki exhibit here at the World Showcase in Epcot, I love it. And I decided that I was going to show you guys and make this its own video because I was so excited. He's excited. So, love the life you live. Live the life you love. And if it's your first time watching, subscribe to our channel. You might like it. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.